प्लीज बी रेडी फॉर डिक्टेशन ऑफ एन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 286 फ्रॉम सर कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन इट इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द जेपीसी रिपोर्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द स्कैम इज बेसिकली अ डेलिब्रेट एंड क्रिमिनल मिस यूज ऑफ पब्लिक फंड्स थ्रू वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज ट्रांजेक्शंस विद द एम ऑफ इलीगली साइफनिंग ऑफ फंड्स ऑफ बैंक एंड पी एस यूज टू सेलेक्ट ब्रोकर्स फॉर स्पेकुलेटिव रिटर्न द लेटेस्ट इरेगुलरिटीज इन द सिक्योरिटीज एंड बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शंस आर मैनिफेस्टेशंस ऑफ दिस क्रोनिक डिसऑर्डर सिंस दे इन्वॉल्व नॉट ओनली द बैंक बट ऑल्सो द स्टॉक मार्केट फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स द सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ द कंट्री एंड इवन द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड अदर इकोनॉमिक मिनिस्ट्रीज इन वेरिंग डिग्रीज द मोस्ट अनफॉर्चुनेट आस्पेक्ट हैज बीन द एमरजेंस ऑफ ए कल्चर ऑफ नॉन अकाउंटेबिलिटी विच परमिएटेड ऑल सेक्शंस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड बैंकिंग सिस्टम्स over the years the state of the country's system of governance the persistence of non adherence to rules regulations and guidelines the alarming decay over time in the banking systems has been fully exposed these grave and numerous irregularities persisted for so long that eventually it was not the observance of regulations but their breach that came to be regarded and defi- defended as market practice through all these years the li- ability of the concerned authorities to effectively address themselves to the problems has been tested and found wanting the consequences of these irregularities in securities and banking transactions are both financial and moral during the period from july 2001 to may 2002 the most glaring proof of the nexus between the irregularities in banks and the overheating of stock market which came to light is explained by the graphic representations of the bsc index and the fact that there was a sharp increase in securities transactions during the corresponding period of the banks involved in serious irregularities related with the scam what is more apparent is the systematic and deliberate abuse of the system by certain unscrupulous elements it is abundantly clear that the scam was the result of failure to check irregularities in the banking system and also liberalization without adequate safeguards there is also some evidence of collusion of big industrial houses playing an important role it is because of these elements that the economy of the country had to suffer and while some gained thousands of crores of investors lost their savings the criminality of the perpetrators of the scam becomes all the more despicable as it was during this period that the country was passing through some trying times economically and financially an observation that the committee has been constrained to make at a number of places in the succeeding chapters is that for all these not many have yet been identified and effectively punished the second aspect about which the committee expenses its expresses its grave concern is the supervisory role and responsibility that supervision failed from top to bottom is both self evident and is detailed in the report amongst all the witnesses that appeared before the committee the committee seldom came across an instance where responsibility for wrong was forthrightly accepted 
In the course of investigation, the committee found that most of the irregularities in securities transactions that took place in 1991 and 1992 had been indulged in by various banks even much earlier. Certain earlier inspection scrutiny reports of RBI called by the committee revealed various irregularities in securities transactions by various banks. It is thus evident that many of the irregularities in securities transactions that took place in 1991 and 1992 had been building up since the mid-80s, if not earlier, and could have been minimized if the authorities concerned had heeded to the early warning signals. The RBI issued several circulars, including the one in July 1991, prohibiting these misdeeds and yet everything that was sought to be prevented, in fact, accelerated and assumed uncontrolled dimensions. A broad analysis of the information obtained by the committee from various sources reveals that apart from a direct flow of funds to the stock market through sanction of authorized or unauthorized credit facilities, to some brokers, by some banks, by way of overdraft and discounting of bills covering shares and debentures. There had been fraudulent manipulations of the investment portfolio in some banks, including their subsidiary financial companies, to divert the funds to certain brokers to fuel the unprecedented rise in share prices. On the question of exposure, there are varying figures. John Kiraman Committee speaks of this as rupees 4,000 crores, whereas Central Bureau of Investigation have assessed these at rupees 8,000 crores on the basis of cases registered by them. In addition, the committee examined the figure provided by the Office of the Custodian, which assessed the amount on the basis of various claims and counterclaims preferred by various aggrieved parties. The committee are of the opinion that it is difficult to estimate the huge sums of money which were illegally utilized by various scamsters for their personal gains during this period because the monies were repaid and the transactions completed. The monies lost represent the deals which could not be completed because either the monies were swindled or BRs and SGL transfer forms held by banks are of doubtful value. Further, because of imperfect contracts, it may not be possible to enforce the contract and recover the money. The committee did not independently attempt this exercise as three separate specialist bodies had already attempted it. The committee are of the view that it is the duty of the Ministry of Finance to undertake this, this responsibility by either instituting a separate committee for the purpose or through the same committee. After examination of the type of transactions by the banks, the committee regret to note that the banks had in blatant violation of the RBI guidelines relevant thereto entered into a large number of buyback transactions and indulged in irregularities like misuse of BRs, bankers, bankers' checks, etc. Stop.